What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're using an off meta choice band Meow Skirata and Loaded Dice Greninja team for ranked regulation F. Now, the last time I used Greninja, I don't really know. It doesn't really see the light that much in ranked battles, but I'm super excited to be using this Pokemon and hopefully I can showcase it really well for you guys. But starting off in the top left hand corner for our first Pokemon, like we already mentioned, we have Choice Band Meow Skirata. Now, this Pokemon hits like a truck. It's got Protean as its ability, Rock and Flower Trick, Knock Off, Triple Axel, and U-Turn. All these moves can turn into Stab if they're the first one used for Miascarada due to its ability. Just like that ability, Greninja also has it with the Loaded Dice as item, like we already mentioned, and then it's Rock and Water Shuriken, Dark Pulse, Ice Beam, and last but not least, it has U-Turn to pivot as well. So two U-Turn pivoting moves, we love it. We also have Incineroar on today's team, super solid Pokemon at Intimidating and dropping Special Attack with Parting Shot. On top of that, it's got its other normal moves such as knock off and take off items, flare blitz for big time stab damage, and let's not forget, big time fake outs for first turn priority, and flinches. Final three Pokemon on today's team, we got two big special attackers, Fluttermane and Sandy Shocks. You guys already know the deal with them. They hop into battle, they're pretty speedy, and on top of that, they can hit hard at the same time. And last but not least, we got Lottie Oz on the team, a great Pokemon for setting up Tailwind. On top of that, it has two stab moves, Mist Ball and Dragon Pulse, so it can do some damage on top of that speed control. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match, showcase the choice band Miascarada and loaded Dice Greninja. First match on its way, and we are going up against a Shift Tree and Speed Boost Blaziken team. They also have Sableye, Metagross, Milotic, and last but not least, they are rocking out with Zapdos. So how do we want to play this one? How do we want to get after it? I kind of want to check these things' EVs out first, and this thing's speed and special attack is pretty high. What about Miascarada? What you got cooking? 192, big time attacker. We like that. We like that. What was your speed again? Was it 190? It is 190. Wow, you're a fast, you're a fast little guy. I like that. So I could go Greninja at maybe just U-turn pivot here early on. I don't really mind that. Or I could just go into Incineroar, Intimidate, especially if they want to leave physical attackers such as Shift Tree or Blaziken. But they do have competitive Milotic, so maybe Meowth Karata might be the play here turn one. So I'm going to go Meowth Karata. I'm going to go Latias. I'm going to go Greninja in the back end. Then last but not least, either Sandy Shocks or Fluttermane. Do I have Shadow Ball on you, Fluttermane? I do. So you might be the Pokemon choice here. You know, Sandy Shock is actually pretty solid here. Yeah, I'm gonna go Fluttermane. Little bit of Fluttermane action, or I could go Sandy Shocks. Sandy Shocks got some moves. Flash Cannon. Got Flash Cannon, Thunderbolt, and Earth Power. I mean, Thunderbolt's gonna be super effective onto Milotech, which is actually pretty good. But I have Miyask around for that. So yeah, we'll bring Sandy Shocks into battle number two. Or battle number three, but for now, we're bringing in Fluttermane, Greninja, Miyashkarada, and Latias. So let's see who they end up leading here and how they want to play it. I could see Sableye for the lead, potentially, probably gonna see Sableye for the lead, right? Great little support Pokemon. Could see Blaziken, could see Milotic, hence the reason why I led Miyashkarada over in Cinnawar. I'm kind of hoping to see Milotic. Let's see. No, it's gonna be these two. So Fluttermane actually would have been a solid lead here. Would have been a solid little lead, but I'm gonna go into these two, and from here, I could just start ripping knockoffs. I could Terra Ghost here, too. I could Terra Ghost. Do I want a Terra Ghost? I don't know. I kind of do just in case Fake Out wants to pop out from the Sableye. I know it does learn it. And I'm just gonna go into a Dragon Pulse here and just hit up onto the Sableye. We'll see what he wants to do from here. So we're going to use our Terra here early on here. We're going to choice ban Miascarada into knockoff. We're not going to set up a Tailwind just yet. Just because we outspeed as of right now. And we can potentially just wait another turn here. But he's going to end up withdrawing Sableye here. And who are you going to go into? That's the real question. Who's going to eat up this Dragon Pulse? It's going to be Zapdos. I don't mind that. So we'll chunk up some damage on the Zapdos. We'll hit this Terra button for no reason now. I was kind of hoping you would fake out Miascarada. But that was more of like a precautionary thing, right? We wanted Miyaskara to get off this choice ban, stab, knockoff. We wanted it. We wanted it. Now, if we Protean switch, are we not a ghost type anymore? I don't even know. But I guess we don't Protean switch. Knockoff's KO in. No problem. See you later, Metagross. Metagross, gone. Get it on out of here. Dragon Pulse going to fly out here. Chip up some damage on the Zapdos. Not bad. We don't mind that damage. Now, Miascarada is rather fast, but I don't know if it's faster than Zapdos, so now might be the turn to actually just set up the Tailwind. 
and say choice into a knockoff and just keep sending them left and right. I'm cool with that. So they send out the third Pokemon. Who do you have? It's going to be the Sableye. So the Sableye comes in hot here. Knockoff can fly. Who do we want to attack it with? Probably Zapdos, right? Could leave Zapdos on the field for a little bit. But you know what? We're going to go after Zapdos here and just set up a Tailwind. The Tailwind comes out and about. We should be able to outspeed him unless he's going for a prankster move, obviously. Which could be fake out. You could be faking out the Latias here. But that swap there for Sableye, kind of weird. Kind of weird. But again, I'm not I'm not hating. Gave me a big time turn, knocking out the Metagross. We love it. We love it. I always love using the Glad. I think it's such a good Pokemon. I'm just hoping we can get Greninja a little bit of loving today. I knew Miascarada would do just fine. He's going to end up quashing my Miascarada, which is not a big time deal. I don't mind it too much. But Tailwind's now going to fly. Zapdos is going to go next because Quash makes this go last. And I wonder what move he's rocking. He's rocking Thunder. Can you soak this? You do. Thank you. Thank you, Miascarada. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Leaving him on one, though. Kind of annoying. We don't really like that. So he leaves Zapdos on one. He can keep quashing me. I am going to die out to Rock Hammer, which kind of sucks, though. It kind of sucks. But now I can just go into first turn priority Water Shrekin, right? That's first turn priority. I believe so. Is that a correct statement? I believe it is. I believe it is. So we can save our Sableye for, not Sableye, our Fluttermane for the back end, which is great. Fluttermane is such a solid Pokemon, but Shiny Greninja, I love its colors, man. The black and red, come on, man. It's looking phenomenal. Water Shrekin, I believe, is first turn priority, right? This move always goes first, but I don't know if it goes before Quash. That's a real problem here. That's a real problem. I'm just going to do this, and I guess I'll just double down into you, just in case, because, again, you could quash my... You could definitely quash my Greninja, right? But I think Water Shrekin might go before the quash, because they're both priority in Greninja just to straight up outspeeds at 190. So I'm going to double down this after this, which might have not been a play. Might have not been a good play. I probably should have uh, went after the same play with this. But let's see what he ends up doing. He just let my water strike and die out or kill this thing yeah okay beautiful bang see you later so we get rid of you no problem nice little first time priority move and are you still going for quash i kind of hope so right i kind of hope so go ahead save a light now you're gonna go for a sunny day which actually ugh, do i really like the sunny day i don't know how to feel about that i do not know how to feel about that but dragon pulse flies almost half in it so it might be time to just Double down in the Sableye here. Depending on the last Pokemon. Because they still have Terra as well. They do still have Terra. And the last Pokemon is going to be Blaziken. He's going to actually thrive out in the sun. Chances are it's Focus Ash. But I think we double down in the Sableye. And we just get rid of it. Or do we double down into you? I'm going to double down in the Sableye at this point. I'm going to double down in the Sableye. And actually, Protosynthesis boosts our Fluttermane, which is good. Now we're going to see a Terra come out here. We're doubling down into the Sableye here. Um, I wonder what you're going for. Close combat? I don't know. We're going to go Grass Terra, which honestly is okay. It's okay for us. Blaziken is looking a little scary, but Water Shrek is going to fly here. I just want to do some damage onto the Sableye so this Dragon Pulse can actually KO. That's why I went after you with Water Shrek. And And we'll see how this one plays out. Because, again, Blaze King could definitely clutch up. No doubt in my mind. He's going to Pain Split. Oh, that actually kind of screws me over. Pain Split? Really? That kind of screws me over. Give me a crit or something. That really hurts the soul, man. Solar Beam coming out here now. I'm going to take out my Greninja. Solar Beam. That honestly hurts the soul. Okay, so Solar Beam flies here. Um, I'm hoping Fluttermane can Protosynthesis boost in speed right now. Because we're definitely going to need it after a speed boost. We're definitely going to need it after a speed boost. And he's not focused as which is gorgeous. The speed boost is going to pop here. We have Fluttermane left. Let me see your summary. Please show me speed. It's special attack. That kind of hurts, man. That actually really hurts. So now I go into Fluttermane here. And I Protosynthesis boost. So honestly, as long as this thing doesn't go for a Flare boost, we should be fine. Or how many turns left in Tailwind? We do have a turn left in Tailwind. It's actually really good for us. So now I'm just going to go for Daz and Gleam. And I'm going to double down into this thing. Double down into Blaziken. Let it fly. Let it fly. Honestly, this Blaziken's scaring me, man. This Blaziken could easily, 
easily clutch up and win this game. Not taking it lightly. I cannot take it lightly. But I'm hoping it doesn't protect here. And I'm able to dash and gleam out speed with Tailwind. Get rid of Sableye. Do a ton of damage. Maybe even KO this Blaziken, Blaziken because of Protosynthesis and the Fairy Feather. But if not, Dragon Pulse should follow through and finish the KO. But we just can't really have this thing protect right here. Because once this thing protects, or if it... Oh, Quash is a problem. You better not be Flare Blitzing. You better not be Flare Blitzing. You better not be Flare Blitzing. It's going to go for a Solar Beam. I... I think we can soak a solar beam. You get a crit. We'll never know. We'll never know because you crit it. I guess we'll never know. I guess we'll never know. You crit on that. That's a little absurd. So you're going to end up critting our tail when it goes. And are we really going to lose this first match? I guess we'll never know if we were able to soak that up. That kind of hurts. But I mean, Dragon Pulse is going to fly here. I think he's just going to go for another Solar Beam. Oh, man. He's just going to detect, honestly. That really hurts, man. Are you going for another Pain Split? That really hurts. That really hurts. Good old Quash, man. That really does hurt. I wonder. I, I think we should have, or we would have been able to soak a Solar Beam. It's not Stab. I get he gets the Terra Boost and all that, but still... A crit? Come on now. Crit Solar Beam. Really hurting the soul. Really hurting the soul. But hey, I won a few battles on RNG in the past past couple of videos, actually. So, it happens. We might have still died out to that Solar Beam anyway. Solar Beam's a heavy hitting move. But again, it's not stab, so I didn't really see it doing any crazy damage. But still, yeah, dude. I knew this place game was going to pull the ultimate comeback. Not the ultimate comeback, but still. Once I seen it kind of pop out on the field, I knew it was going to do some big time damage. But Blaziken's here. If Blaziken doesn't KO, then we win. But chances are it's going to KO us, right? Chances are it is KO us. The pain split us up a little bit. Let's see how, how Latias does with this. Latias? We might have won. We might have won. Hold up. Hold up. I might take back everything I said. We might have won. Latias might clutch up. Depending on what Sableye has... We know it has Sunny Day, right? Sunny Day, Quash, Pain Split, and I don't know its last move. I do not know its last move. But from here, I'm just going to go for a straight Dragon Pulse, and I wonder if he has any moves that could KO. I wonder. I don't I don't think he does. I don't know if you do. You, you haven't used one yet. Hold up. We have a shot at winning this. I swear, if this thing just like pulls out like knockoff or something stupid... Some attack and move and finishes me off, I'm going to be so upset. Because it hasn't used it all game. Hasn't used it all game. I don't think this Dragon Pulse can KO either. I know it outspeeds. But honestly, I think it leaves it on one. I think it leaves it really, really low. Let's see. But well, this save has been a pain. We probably should have taken it out a little bit earlier. So let's see what they end up doing. I don't think they have an attack and move. I really don't think they do. They don't. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. So we're going to end up winning this match because Latias is an absolute soak of the solar beam. And we end up KOing this thing in one shot. Cool. Dope. Beautiful. Wanted to get things started. Blaziken scared me a little bit, but Latias has my back. Moving on to our second match, and we're going up against a Garchomp and Dragonite team. Love both those Pokemon. Love their design. They're also rocking out with Urshifu, Amoongus, Walking Wake, and Okie Dokie. So they have Walking Wake with no Sunsetter. We don't have a Sunsetter, so no Sun's going to be on the field, right? Yeah, they don't have a Sunsetter, but who do I think they're going to lead? Potentially Okie Dogie here? I mean, Okie Dogie's a pretty solid counter to Incineroar, so he might want to lead something. They can really start to get after that. That's Poison type alongside with Fighting. So honestly, Sandy Shock is not bad here. Nice little booster energy into Special Attack, I believe. Yeah, Special Attack, and we could go into Latias here, which is not bad. I like Sandy Shocks. I mean, Sandy Shocks can hit hard. It's pretty fast here as well. Uh, Latias, let me check your speed. 155 because I really want to try to get off Tailwind. And what's your Terror type, Sandy Shocks? Grass. Okay, that's solid. So I was worried about the Urge for a little bit. So not gonna, not gonna lie, that Terror type actually helped me out here. So Sandy Shocks, Latias for our lead in the back end. I do like having you with Ice Beam, to be honest. So I am gonna go in with you because Ice Beam's gonna be four times super effective onto both the Dragons, and it's gonna be super effective onto the Amoongus. 
And last but not least, we could go Incineroar or Fluttermane, which both of them actually worked out pretty well here, but more so Fluttermane. So I'm going to go Fluttermane here. We're not going to bring Meowth in here. We kind of showcase it really well in match number one. Dropping big time knockoffs, getting rid of the Metagross. But yo, that Blaziken had my number. That Blaziken scare me, man. Definitely scare me. Once I saw it happen on the field and in the sun, I was just like, this thing could definitely sweep with like Flare Blitz and stuff. But I'm surprised it kept rocking with Solar Beam. I mean, it was Life Orb, so it could have switched moves. I'm surprised it didn't have like a fire move or something that he wanted to drop into me. In the sun, get that stab boost. But he ends up going into Walking Wake and Okie Dokie. Um, I don't mind this too much. I could go into a Grass Tower here. I could if I want to. Um, I could maybe just protect this turn and see what's popping, but Walking Wake could just outspeed me. I mean, I can go for Earth Power, which is pretty good. But I could definitely see him maybe swapping Okie Dokie or something or Terrasalize. So you know what? I'm just going to do this and I might just protect you. I might just protect you because, like, a Draco meat or something. Actually, no. We're just going to pop Tailwind. Let's just get straight after his Tailwind. Because, again, this might be a turn for Okie Dogie to, to stop. But, no. He's just going to stay in here with Okie Dogie. And we get off this Tailwind, no problem. That kind of sucks because I expected him to kind of swap Okie Dogie or something. I could just drop an Earth Power. But Draco meter is going to fly here. That's going to take out Latias, which I don't really mind. In all honesty, I don't mind it at all. I don't mind this at all. And he's going to go for a knockoff here, and it's not going to take off any item, which is good. But it's going to do a little bit of damage. So I don't mind that turn at all, because now I can just go straight into Fluttermane here. I can drop an Earth Power. I can drop a Daz of Lean, and I can really start ripping. Yes, sir. I love it. I love these Pokemon. These Pokemon are going to thrive out in this tailwind. So there's that. Daz and Lean with the Fairy Feather. Love the Fairy Feather. I think it's a new item here. Aqua Jet's going to fly. Do a little bit of damage here. Nothing crazy. Dazzling Gleam gonna finish off Walking Wake. Do minimal damage to Okie Dogie. But Sandy Shocks hitting like a truck with Booster Energy Special Attack. Gonna be able to just dump on Okie Dogie here. Okie Dogie, get on out of here. I know you're dead. I already know you're dead. You're not dead. You survived that. Oh no. Poison Jab. I'm dead. No, I survived. Okay, cool. That scared me a little bit. Wow, you actually soaked that like that? Okie Dogie's pretty bulky. He's a bulky little guy. He's a bulky little guy. So from here, instead of Dazzling Gleam, we could just go into like a Shadow Ball to finish off Okie Dokie. Might be our best bet. But let's see who they throw out here. It's going to be Garchomp. I have a nice Pokemon. For that. I have a real nice Pokemon for that. And honestly, do we just go this? Honestly, I think we go Earth Power here. Just in case the Terra Steel comes out here. We're going to Earth Power that. And honestly, I'm just going to Shadow Ball this down. That's going to be my play. Because I believe Garchomp has to Terrasalize here, right? Seeing a fairy on the field with Speed Control Tailwind. I think he Terrasalize. And a normal Terra type for this thing would be Steel. So if it does go Steel, we got Earth Power flying into that slot, which would be awesome. That'd be huge. Or Fireworks. Let's see. What you got cooking? Fire. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, man. Come on, man. Jeans with some decent reads here. Like I said, Steel or Fire's really... uh. Used a lot on Garchomp's, and it's going to work out perfectly, just to counter Fairy Tanks. But Shadow Ball ends up not KOing, which kind of sucks, but Earth Power does KO. That sucks that Okie Dogie survived that. I really wanted that thing dead. I really wanted that thing gone, but that's a big time KO for us. Garchomp gone, Terror type gone. Okie Dogie going to take out our, our Fluttermane here. And now we're sitting here with Tailwind, and we have Greninja here as well. Lovely little Greninja. So Greninja loves when Pokemon are down low HP because I can just Water Shrek and KO. Especially to slow dice one. And who's your final Pokemon? If it's Dragonite, that'd be pretty nice because I got Ice Beam ready. It's going to be Urshifu. Dark Urshifu. Dark Urshifu. I mean from here, what's going to be our play? We definitely want to Water Shrek and down this Okie Dokie. But do I want to Terrasalize anything? Not really, right? I think staying our typing is probably our best bet. And what terror type do you have? You have Ghost. I doubt he's going for a fighting move into you. It would be the dark move instead of anything. So I'm just going to stay my typings. I'm just going to stay with my typings here. It's just, like, there's no point of Terrasalize near. Water Shrekin's going to fly. Grenin is going to finish off Okie Dogie, which is beautiful. I love that move, too. I really do like that move a lot. Just the design concept. It's so sick. Gonna pick up the KO. Sandy Shock should go next. Yep, Thunderbolt cooking. 
And that's getting a crit. So a crit from Blaziken in the last match. We make it up here by getting a crit for Sandy Shocks. But I believe we were win this match regardless. GG's to our opponent. We are 2-0 now. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a red alert going on here. Red alert, red alert. Sound the alarms. We are going up against Poke Sports here in our third and final match. And it kind of sucks because I'm using an off meta team. Something that doesn't really have a lot of meta Pokemon. And I would love to actually give these guys a good battle because I love their content. Love seeing them. But I might have to hit them up for actual battles. Maybe like a best of three. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would enjoy that. But Poke Sports, love these guys. Huge shout out to them. They make some awesome content. But we're going up against them in match number three. And they got a Sun Squad. This is looking terrible for us. This is looking real bad for us. Latias, Torkoal, Walking Wake, his Suey and Typhlosion, Ogre Pond, and Serene over here to stop first turn priority. So how should I want to play this one? Um, I could go Latias, maybe try to set up the Tailwind. Could be good for us. Um, I do like that. I do have Terra with you, which would be a nice little Steel Terra. Not too shabby. I could also go in with Sandy Shocks. And I think that has to be right. I think that has to be the lead. So I'm going to go in with both of them. In the back, and we could actually lead like Incineroar here for fake out purposes. That might be our best bet, to be honest. Do we want to lead Incineroar? Actually, yeah, let's do it. Let's go Incineroar, Sandy Shocks, and last but not least, let's go Fluttermane. We got three seconds to pick. So that's going to be our squad. This squad actually kind of counters this pretty well. So this one going to be tough. Hoping to put up a fight. Hopefully maybe grab ourselves a win. But good luck to Poke Sports. Hopefully they post this uh this video on their channel. Just like how I'm going to post this video on my channel. So we'll see. We are 2-0 though. So we already grabbed ourselves a beautiful, lovely winning record. We are 2-0. We love it. So for their lead, I could see something like Latias, right? Yeah, Latias, Ogre Pond's going to fly out here. Um, Intimidate actually would, uh, is great here with Incineroar. So we get to Intimidate him. And on top of that, I get to go... I could go into Knockoffs here, which is actually pretty good for us. So Intimidate going to be level here. I think we can just go Tailwind for Tailwind. Um, they could Terrestrialize Latias, but from here... Yeah, we definitely want to pop our Tailwind. So Tailwind into a Knockoff. Probably our best bet here. Um, instead of going for a Fake Out, right? So Ogre Pond could just spiky shield here. Let's be honest for swap. So I'm just going to attack the Latias. Gonna f Whoa. Oh, I should have known Poke Sports was using a weird team. I should have knew this. I should I should have known this. I should have known that he was using a weird team. Or they were using a weird team. They're making content, Gene. You got to think. You got to think. So we get off the Tailwind. And now I'm terrified. Let's be honest here. I am terrified. Let's be honest here. I am terrified. Maybe I should just straight up fake, fake them out. But from here, we're going to go Dragon Pulse into this slot. Look to finish this off. And I mean, just try to knock this thing off. <laughs> He's going to crit me, man. You got to stop. You got to stop. This thing going to crit me. I don't know if he's going to Terrastalize, though. They kind of want to go for it like a Flare Blitz. I kind of want to go for a Flare Blitz here. But I mean, we'll go for a knockoff. Try to get some damage off here. You're going to end up withdrawing Latias here. What you got cooking? What <laughs> you got cooking, yo? Torkoal? <laughs> Get on out of here. Torkoal's gonna come across here. So Torkoal, ready to be a problem. And there's the mask put on. So the mask put on for the fire damage boost. Looking terrifying. We don't like this one bit. We don't like this one bit. Not one bit. So now with Ivy Cudgel boosted, this, I think Ivy Cudgel crits 100% of the time after focus energy. Yeah, dude, this game's over. Wrap it up. We lost. Oh, no, we actually soaked pretty well. It is crits. It is crits. But I like the Pokemon that we have on the field here. Dragon Pulse going to fly into Torkoal, which is actually great. Ooh, crit there. Yeah, you crit, I crit. You crit, I crit. You want to play crits? We love it. Knock off. Not doing anything crazy. Um, I could just protect here and parting shot out, but who could I parting shot into is the real question. Ooh, I don't like any of these guys. Let's be honest. I don't like any of these guys. Could be going for an Earth Power. I mean, I'm still gonna go for a party shot here into the Torkoal. So we're gonna protect the Latias. I think Ivy Cudgel should fly into the slot. Let's be honest here. It does, and we block it. We get a big time block. Now we get the party shot into you. Um, 
problem here is do we who do we go into that's 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 the real question here that's the real question that is the real question do we think any of these guys are soaking up like a heat wave here i don't know i think it would be a earth power instead of heat wave let's be honest here but if it is a heat wave which it could definitely be a heat wave i think it's an earth power i really do think it's an earth power i'd rather just go into like Flutterman here because this pokemon's actually pretty bulky on special defense right now that's exactly what i'm gonna do, gonna do. i'm gonna go into Flutterman. a little bit of Flutterman action So there's Fluttermane here. Is it going to be Earth Power? It's going to be Body Press. That works perfectly. That works fine, too. That works fine. Okay, so from here, I could Hard Swap if I want to back into Incineroar, which might be my play, because if you're going for Ivy Cudgel, I'd rather just soak that and save for Latias. So I'm going to swap into Incineroar here. And I'm just going to start ripping into this Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond's kind of posing a bit of, bit of a threat to me. Just a bit of a threat, so... We'll do that. We shall do that. So we're going to swap back into our center war, have Fake Out ready to rock here. Ogre Pond's a big time threat to me. And we'll work it that way. So when Cinnamore out and about again, could see another Ivy Cudgel flying in the slot. Let's see, Intimidate's going to come out here. I know it's not really doing much considering Torkoal's special attacker and Ogre Pond's critting. But Shadow Ball's still connecting, which is great. How much damage are we doing here? Great damage, bringing it down the red. And Ivy Cudgel flying into Show Me Incineroar. No, not Fluttermane. Not Fluttermane. And I'm critting and I'm dead. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Okay, so Fluttermane dies out there. I was hoping Shadow Ball could do a bit more damage here. And Gyro Ball coming out here. A little bit of Gyro Ball. I think that was doubling down in Fluttermane just in case. The Gyro Ball damage, nothing crazy. Tailwinds are here. I could read a Spiky Shield here. Or I could just go straight into Sandy Shocks, which actually could move for me. And just fake out the turtle. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go into Sandy Shocks here, because honestly, Ogre Pond outspeeds my Latias. So if I go into Latias here and try to set up Tailwind, it's just a little bit of a problem. So Protosynthesis gonna pop for my Sandy Shocks here. Get that special attack boost. Um probably just fake out E right. And take out Torkoal with Earth Power. Probably more so Thunderbolt. And the reason I say Thunderbolt is in case they want to swap Torkoal, thinking I'm going for that. I mean, Ogre Pond could obviously just go into a straight up spiky shield here. Which it does. That's totally fine. Totally fine. So he's going to spiky shield up. Fake out's going to get blocked. I'm going to take a little bit of damage. I still have my Citrus Berry, which is beautiful. But the problem here is if they go into like Latias, poses a pretty big threat to me. There's Thunderbolt, should take out the Torkoal, and it does, we get a crit, I think it was taken out regardless. And we get rid of the Torks. So Torkoal is gone, I think they go back into Latias here, try to set up a Tailwind. Best bet, right? Yeah, Latias gonna come out here. Right now we have them both low HP, I mean, I'm definitely gonna go for a knockoff into you. And I think I just protect this guy? I mean, their best bet, I could go into Grass, but yeah, it's not really gonna help us out here. The grass terror type definitely not helping us out. So I'm just going to protect here. And I mean, if they read this protect here and double down into Latias. Or not Latias, Sandy Shocks. Or not Sandy Shocks, Incineroar. That's a little bit of a problem. But I do have Citrus Berry, so I should, I feel as I should be able to soak up some shots here. So we're going to protect Sandy Shocks. We're looking just to get rid of this Ogre Pond. We don't want to deal with this Ogre Pond here. Let's be honest here. And Ivy Cudgel's flying into this slot. Which is actually... Kind of hurting the soul here to think about. Oh, man, that damage output. Absurd. That damage output's absurd. We got Citrus Berry, and it could be doubling down. Or you could be going for a Tailwind here. Let's see. Let's see what you got here. Go for a Heal Pulse. That really just did me in, right? Oh, my God. That HP back. Absurd. Yeah, that really just really just hurt the soul here. That really just hurt the soul. But Post-Synthesis wears off. Now we get the boost up. Um... Now would be the time for them to go for a Tailwind. And they can just take out Sandy Shocks here as well. Do I think knockoff KOs? This really hurts because I don't know what to do here. 
He could spiky shield. He could definitely spiky shield. So I'm gonna thunderbolt the slot. Ivy cudgel. He he can't on Sandy shocks at this point. You are a heal pulsing again. Yeah, that's wraps, yo. What a cool combo from Pokey Sports though. I thought I kind of I was I was gonna win this match for a second. I really did. Miss ball gonna fly here. Does not affect Incineroar. And can we just knock off KO here? We don't even pick up the KO. That hurts the soul, man. <laughs> that hurts the soul because now they got it unlocked. Now they definitely got it unlocked. GG's, man. GG's. That Ogre Pond with Focus Energy. I should have known they, they had something up their, their pockets, right? I should have known. I should have known. But Heal Pulse can fly through here. I mean, I'm just going to spam moves. Just finish off this match. They earned this victory. Spiky Shield comes out here. And actually, spamming these moves might have worked out. They go for Tailwind. Most likely here, right? Yeah, so Tailwind sets up. Tailwind set up for me would have been good, but they outspeed me regardless. I'm trying to figure this out. All right, let's figure this out. Because I got one more Pokemon. We are going to KO the Latias here. Knockoff says, see you later. I should have just faked out the Ogre Pond turn one, allow it not to set up Focus Energy. Because now this thing's critting. But honestly, this was a solid match all around. Now they got Typhlosion ready to go. Typhlosion. Typhlosion. Yeah, this one's over. This one's over, unless I can somehow use my fake out again. But chances are, I cannot. You got Shadow Ball. Yeah, all that good stuff. I mean, I still have Terra, but like, Terra's not doing anything good. Steel, not good. Steel, not good. Steel, not good. Grass, not good. Just, there's just no point of popping Terra this match. There really isn't. I mean, we'll go for Dragon Pulse here. No Terra's loud, and there's the Ivy Cudge. We're gonna finish off whatever Pokemon it hits into. It's gonna be my instant move. So, thanks for playing, Jeans. GG Spoke Sports here. Love this combo, though. Love the focus energy. Just totally threw me off. I should have just been like, hey, yo, it's Poke Sports. We know they're using something crazy, something cool. I should I should have knew something was up. I should have just faked out the Ogre Pond. But I really did think it was going to go for Spike Shield. But not a bad match. Solid set of battles for today's video. We go 2-1. and one. There you go, guys. 2-1 and one for today's video. Grabbing you guys a winning record with this Greninja and Choice Band in the Ascarada team. Furthermore, we got the first two guys over at Pokesports having a nice little fun third and final battle that we did end up losing. All good, though. Love the content that they make. Had fun battling them. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.